Hey guys, it's Ms. V on the way home from meeting my parents for breakfast and I was thinking about the Ohio graduation test, which I know might sound crazy, but you guys know me, I am a little crazy about school. So I thought that I would post a short video talking to you a little bit about some test taking tips for the OGT, just so that you guys feel completely prepared and ready to go for the test tomorrow. So in general, um, and I know you guys hear these tips a lot and maybe they seem kind of stupid, but you definitely want to like get a good night of sleep each night before the test. You want to eat a good breakfast, something with protein. So that could be meat, that could be like a Greek yogurt, something that's just going to really fuel your body and your brain. Um, so make sure you're doing that. Make sure you bring a couple of number two pencils with you. Remember that for the math and the science test, you don't need to worry about a calculator because they're going to provide one for you. Um, you have to use the OGT calculator that the counselors have. Um, for the reading test specifically, I want for you guys to remember to take your time and to go slowly with things. You have two hours to take the test. So if you need to comb back through every inch of a paragraph or of a passage to find information, please do that rather than just guessing about an answer. Um, remember that the two point questions, you want to have at least two sentences. The four point questions, you want to have at least four sentences of an answer. And you always want to explain your answer. This quote fits with the theme because blah, 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 not just giving the quote and just moving on from there. You need to prove the connection between things just like you would do for me in class. Um, I just wanna wish you guys a lot of luck with the test. I don't want you to be stressed about it. It is a big deal, okay? This will keep you from graduating if you can't pass it in the next two and a half years. But if you go into it stressed and worrying about that, that's not gonna help you. That's only gonna hurt you. So I just want you guys to feel confident. I want you to feel well prepared. Remember that Mrs. Lake and I have taught you guys to a much higher level this year than where you need to be for the test. So you are all going to do great on this. You'll get your scores back in a couple of months and we'll know that we all did our job, that we all did a great job. And you guys just need to do your best, really stay focused tomorrow. And I will see all of you in my classes on Monday. Some of Mrs. Like students, you may not see her until Tuesday because if you remember, we have a different schedule this week. So stop by after your test, let me know how it went and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Good luck on your reading test.